Dr. Dr. Mwadi has said that recently the judiciary have given left-handed judgment, <laughs> even if I'm left-handed myself. And um, the judiciary seems to be proving to not be judicious in their most recent proclamations and judgments. You are a lawyer. Um, would you agree? And if you do, um, give us the reasons why you would agree. And if you do not, of course, we also want to know um, why you take it, you, you will tow a different path from what Dr. Amadi has said. Okay, just in line with that, at the same time, I just want to quickly add that the call for release, uh, Benjamin Khan is saying, listen, you cannot be talking of violence now when we are talking about releasing him. This is time oh. to make peace. This is time to ensure that the South is in order, which is in line with his uh, vice peer pro project. Now, with what Kingsley has asked, what, what exactly does this peace mean? But the Benjamin Carl is driving this project in Southeast to say we need you need to be calm. The place needs to be calm. So that the press because the, it's not this president who locked him up, so that he can actually mm -hmm. see that you guys are seem to be on the same page with the drive for peace, so that it will be easy for Nam the Kano to be released. So yes, uh, thank you. Um apparently I, I know that we have um held the judiciary to responsibility in terms of being judicious, uh, being uh, corrigible and uh, um, incorruptible. That's been our aspiration and our core. And again, I, I actually also personally, the 10th of December um, 2023, that was uh, the World Human Rights Day, we issued the press that where we said the judiciary has been like that in this country, uh, probably just awaiting a time and very out. But that is not to say that the judiciary is uh, completely uh, um, evasive, like um, probably non-existent in this country. But what, what happens, we need to understand is that uh, the decisions of courts are actually uh, based on what is presented before the court. We say in law that the court is the Father Christmas and cannot go on a voyage of discovery of its own. So that uh, citizens must understand that sometimes the way we analyze and interpret the decisions of court or the disposition of courts with respect to certain matters, that it is, it's not exactly what we imagine, but uh, it depends on what is presented before the court. Now, can also matter. Most of the decisions we talk about, it's not that there has been any hearing to the merits of the <coughs> issues that the federal government has got against Nambi Kano that border around treason and the charges are preferred against him. Much of those uh, rulings in court have been with respect to his right to bail. And then I, I must say that if someone is granted, it does not mean the end of his criminal trial uh, uh, in any regard. So, uh, but sometimes some people have held the views that those decisions with respect to uh, the applications to bail, if it was granted, and then the state agents, I mean, the uh, Department of State Security, or properly called the State Security Services, uh, um, refused to actually release him from custody. Those are some things we need to understand about Jerry. Now, like the Supreme, the Supreme Court has simply said, oh, go back to trial. I, I think that there is, there is something you need to answer. It's not a final judgment. So go back to trial, and then uh, there's a pre case you need to really defend yourself. So All right. 